Well, we are all trying to be more healthy in our everyday lives. Come on over. Yeah, she, yeah it's okay. It's live TV. Sometimes it happens. She was running over to get something. But I'm joined here with registered dietitian Lisa Valentini. And we're here to talk about being healthy. But most people don't realize that dark chocolate it benefits you. It does. Yeah. And, like, do you have a sweet tooth? Uh, yeah. A little bit. <laughs> um, so it's kind of nice to learn a little bit more about the nutrition yes. related to some of our favorite foods. Okay. So we know February, most of us know, it's Heart Health Month. Mm -hmm. But it's also Celebrate Chocolate Month. Mm -hmm. So why not pair the two together? Hey, I like it. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we have some foods over here that are, of course, our heart health foods that most of us know about. Okay. But with dark chocolate, there's um, different things on the packaging, like that percentage. Have you ever seen that? Mm -mm. So it's um, the percent of cacao that is in our dark chocolate. Okay. So that's like bean-like little seeds that makes the chocolate. And the higher the percentage, the more antioxidants. Okay. So the healthier it is. That's perfect. Yes. So um, just something to kind of think about when you're shopping. We really want to look for more than 70% cacao. So, um, because that means it has the most antioxidants, and it's also rich in iron, copper, magnesium, and phosphorus. Okay. So, some people didn't know that there's micronutrients in our dark chocolate, mm -hmm. so just food for thought. Perfect, yeah. 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 All right, and so what do we all have here? I mean, let's let's kind of go through it. Okay, um, so there's our fiber supplement, of kay. course. We know fiber's great for heart health. Our fish oil, some tuna, some oats, and chia seeds. Okay. Don't worry, keep yeah. going. I'm just stealing these chocolates. <laughs> Go, keep going, yeah. What else we got? So we have some beans, of course, um, and then some canola oil, too. Okay. And so dark chocolate, um, since we're focusing on that, it's great to pair with a bunch of different things. Mm -hmm. I made a recipe that I paired dark chocolate with some nuts, some seeds, some dried apricots, and mm -hmm. made a little bit of a bark. Yeah. So one serving of dark chocolate and of this recipe is one ounce. Okay. And one ounce is going to promote the feeling of satiety, which is our feeling full after meals. Mm -hmm. And it also, of course, gives us pleasure, right? Yeah, because absolutely. Because it tastes good. Yeah. But also it's been linked to reduce blood pressure okay. and inflammation. So there's where it ties into our heart health as That's well. That's perfect. Yes. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yes. I'm just taking a look and making sure that if there's anything else I want to take. But yeah. we will have everything that she has mentioned about uh, dark chocolate on our website. You can find that on KCCI.com. But your time now is 7.51. Here's a live look from our downtown Skycam. Beautiful morning. It's going to be a beautiful day, too.